Now I'll give you an example. Just imagine if Mark Zuckerberg acted his age, would the world be the same without him acting his age? Or take an example of Colonel Harlan Sanders, who at the age of 65, after getting divorced and separated from his children, moved forward to innovate something that we know as KFC. How can we stereotype behaviors according to age and not according to what makes us happy? With that, I would like to state that I will be going against the motion for this debate. Thank you so much for letting me introduce all the best to everyone. I am Megha Panda, I'm 18. And today I'm going to speak for the motion, one must act according to their age. My ID is 11 and I'm from Odisha. First of all, let me say that we are living in a society and the role which we have to play evolves with the time. And we must contribute our level best to the society as we have got something till what we are living in. Let us not let us not take all the examples of who are actually famous, but today, let me just consider ourselves. Today, Sunday, we must be resting, Netflix and chill, right? But we are sitting here, we are utilizing our time, we are exchanging thoughts, we are exchanging knowledge. That means we are trying our level best to act what we should do. This helps us to actually, you know, utilize the time efficiently and manage ourselves for the better future. Thank you so much. E31 here. I'm Shubhan Chakraborty. Uh, I just completed my postgrad post in English. And I will be speaking against the motion, you must act your age. Now, audience, let me just ask you a simple question. Imagine for a moment that you had no birth certificate and your age was simply based on the way you feel inside. How old would you say you are? Like your height or your shoe size, the number of years that have passed since you first entered this world is an unchangeable fact. But everyday experience suggests that we often don't experience aging in the same way as with other people with many people feeling older than they actually are, while many people feel younger than they actually are. And scientists are starting to get interested in this very quality. Introductory statement that let's not quote famous people and let's talk about ourselves. I'm a person who lost his mother at the age of 12. And I had to act 18 when I was 12. I've had personal experiences and if, it, if I didn't act older, I don't think I would have come out of it and I would have survived the way I did. How can we stereotype people on the basis of age? And you know what? Even sociologists did that. And in 1969, a famous sociologist named Robert Neil Butler came up with a term called ageism. It's basically stereotyping and discriminating people on the basis of old age. One of the forms of discrimination when people face, when it comes to asking people to act the way they do. Age regression is also one of the factors where people think that other people are acting younger than their age. This retreat may be only a few years younger than the person's physical age, or it could be much younger. Into an early childhood or maybe even infancy. And right now everyone is saying Ki, uh, you can kind of act your age. But even scientists who are, who are studying the brain and nervous system say that age at which you become an adult is different for everyone. I'll quote Professor Peter Jones from Cambridge University that he said, what we are really saying is that to have a definition of, of when you move from childhood to adulthood looks increasingly. Sociology of age, something that is both process and the outcome which is going, it works parallel to each other. It provides us a very useful metaphor of performance. And let us just not rem like forget that we are here to perform our duty. Even Mahabharata states that. No karma, no fruit for that. So we must perform our duty. Secondly, coming to the fact that we as a member of society cannot be just sticking to our selfish pleasures. We should contribute to the society. We get into a social contract as soon as we get birth. This Not everything is written. Something comes with us when we take birth. So let me just say one thing. Yesterday was World Child Labor Day. No to child labor. 
and why we are creating more and more awareness due to this earlier that was very you know it was a very practice it was practiced all over the world very in much frequency let it be in india or all over the world but why today we are raising the awareness because we as a human have realized that a child as a labor won't be able to contribute much but instead that age would be helpful if he would have studied and yes definitely he would have been suffering through something that is the reason he's working no doubt but we have now different facilities which are being prevailing by the government of india itself and also the other country second thing i would like to state that that recently in times we have forgotten that we must work acting to the age does not mean that as an 18 or expected to work as 28 years old but you are expect, expected to at least if you are 18 behave like 18 your thinking process should be 18 you cannot just show tantrums you should not just show tantrums it is exceptional for the you know the specially divyang people but we as a normal society we are being taught, we have been educated so this um i would like to begin my argument by stating a statement by professor brian nosek of the university of virginia the extent to which older adults feel much younger than they may are may determine important daily or life decisions for what they will do next now as megha has posited that if a stick remains singular instead of belonging to the bunch we should as a society belong to the bunch right after all that does make common sense but let me ask you one thing where do you think the terms such as iconoclast avagard or vanguard came into existence these are terms which came into existence because there were those few people those leaders of those generations which were able to take the steps needed to lead the generations you think everybody can be a leader no the only point where a person is distinguished from a manager and a leader is when he or she takes those steps which are beyond that of his or her generation now what is the topic at debate here we should act our age now the term age has another connotation we should act according to the contemporary era that is we should act according to age with a capital a now let me tell you a few important things this new understanding of the aging process has been in decades in the making some of the earliest studies state charting the gap between belt and chronological age appeared way back in like 1970s and 80s the trickle of initial interest has now turned into a flood a torrent of new studies during the last 10 years have explored the potential difference between psychological and physiological consequences of discrepancy now i would just like to conclude my two minutes with this one question that if you actually feel in accordance to your age then where does experience come from this is one of the questions that comes to my mind whenever i think about the situations where people have asked me to act my age it's my choice if i want to jump in the pool as long as it's safe whether i'm 65 or 25 it doesn't matter i should be happy what i'm doing with the next thing is uh, megha said uh, 18 years old should act like 18 years old according to which book do you define how it, how an 18 year old is supposed to act some of the 18 years old people are coming up with startups and making millions out of it the others are still struggling with their semester examinations and you all might relate with that the point is we have already been living in a dysfunctional society as megha mentioned that uh, the society will become dysfunctional if we don't uh, if we don't act our age the society is already dysfunctional and we all can see it during the time of pandemic of course how each and every pillar of our society has fallen down in point i would like to say that the age discrimination is a stereotype which is prevailing and there is no relation of stereotypes in this particular topic recently sharukh khan got his degree we were appreciating him why because he did something which is very applaud like you know that is very good and he has done something to break the stereotypes let us assume gandhi ji if he won't have come we won't have got the independence but he was reading and south africa and just imagine he won't have been reading he won't have been a lawyer 
and then what would be happen to us we won't be sitting here maybe we would be having a colonial colonialized rule till date he acted walking in the age does not mean that you know you walking under but at least to the potential utilizing the sources which you have to the most efficient and energetic way and the question which was raised was where does experience come from and the vice versa right experience come from the responsibilities experiences come when you work experiences does not come if you say that okay i do some day else experience goes with me well researchers have stated that feeling younger than your years also seem to come with a lower risk of depression and greater mental well-being as we age it also means better physical health including your risk lower risks of dementia and less chance that you will be hospitalized for any form of mental illness yanick stephen of the university of montpellier examined the data from three longitudinal studies which together track more than 17000 people in this specimen most people felt about 8 years younger than their actual chronological age but some felt that they had aged and consequences were serious feelings between 8 and 13 year olders than you actually are resulted in somewhat of an 18 to 25% greater risk of death over the study periods and a greater disease burden 